So everybody, it's New Year and a game that has really opened my eyes to sort of how you might frame a year is this game here, Thieves. It's a game from Peter Prince. It's been distributed by Queen Games. It's realized it's a reprint uh, of the same name uh, in the uh, Kickstarter Oldies But Goodies series that Queen has put out. And this is a archaeology game at heart. It's set in the, the early 19 teens uh, as you're playing archaeologists actually exploring ruins that finding artifacts that back during this time period hadn't been found yet but they're more commonly known to us now. So let's just take a look into this and give you some quick thoughts in a, in a review of this. But during the game you're going to be taking turns collecting knowledge. You'll be collecting books from Moscow about uh, different civilizations and different colors. You're going to London, you'll be going to meet some assistants in Paris. You might be actually going to get some uh, local knowledge and talking to folks who have been and seen these things. You might buy a car and make, make your trips a little bit uh, shorter. You will go and find some shovels so you can actually pull out some more, more items and you can get some, take some time to give talks in different places in the, in the world and even get some general knowledge as well. So the, the, the game consists of going and taking turns and grabbing these cards. Each one of the cards has a location as I was showing you and it also has a time cost. So instead of having action points in this game you have weeks of the year. So you have a nice board and I'll show you here along the way you've got a track here with numbers and each time you want to take one of these cards you'll move the number of weeks. However, the turn order gets reset so that the player that's used the fewest number of action points or weeks gets to take the next turn and so you'll have to weigh whether or not you want to take a good card like this one or maybe a lesser card, well, lesser card like this because three books is better than two and you'll have to weigh that because you may have you could take this one and take another turn before somebody else or you'll take this one because it's worth more to you in the course of the game it's very it, it can be very strategic it's very fun and so you go through and you take your t turns there's a board involved so notice you had to go to these cities you may have to take extra weeks if you're having to hopscotch from let's say from london to paris to to vienna it's going to cost you extra time, so you're going to have to think ahead. But there's only four cards on the board, so you're going to have to think as much as possible with the options that you have available. You collect these books in the hopes of going on digs later on during the game, or whenever you feel like it's the time to do it. The more books that you have, the better that your dig is going to go, but you're not so sure about that. Why is that? Well, down here this out for you down here here's where all the other sites are so you'll have to travel down to the bottom of the board once you get there though it's not just another deck of cards oh no no, no. you get a bag of tokens to sit through and so the number of books and the amount of time additional action points you want to spend means you're gonna pull out maybe five points then maybe you'll pull out nothing at all. And so the, you want to get more pulls so that, woo, I'm on a roll now, I got eight. Nine, don't stop me now. Oh no, more blank sand. Woo, you're losing this game if you're playing for real. But the idea is you want to get more pulls so that you can avoid or you know you're going to get some blanks, but along the way you at least get paid off in victory points for your turn by pulling out these artifacts out of the bag. and. Honestly, you wanted to pull out more tokens out of the bag ever since you played Rise of Augustus and then you pull out the wild token and it doesn't work out for you. You get one pull and then you have to hand the bag to the next person. Boo to that. I'm going to pull out 10 tokens out of this bag. And guess what? There's not just the one. There's one, two, three, four, five of these bags for you to go and sift through. So part of this game is also figuring out which sites have been looted harvested for uh, cultural purposes more than others. And so this game simply gives you a chance. It, it's, it would be a light to medium weight game, medium for some people who aren't 
uh, used to taking these sort of things. Again, this is, you think of it as, instead of action points, we're thinking of as weeks. Nobody's going to want to play a game that goes, okay, everybody's going to get 100 and, 104 action points to spend during the game. That doesn't make any sense. I can understand the concept of weeks and that there's 52 weeks in a year and then we're going to reset. It makes it much more palatable and the whole pacing of do I go out in front to take a really good action and then maybe I'm going to get skipped two or three times and something comes out of the deck that I really wanted later. It makes for, makes for great decisions along the way without being overly taxing or complicated. And again, getting to sift through these bags really is just sort of a therapeutic fun exercise. So that is Thebes, Peter Prince, Queen Games. It's what you ought to be playing right now, at least when you can find a, find a copy of this. Thanks everybody. God bless and we'll see you next time.